Hello and welcome to another video by me, Teletacos. In this video, we are going to be making a dialogue system with choices. I have not yet added quests into the system, but I will make maybe make another video on quests. And I just want to mention that this uh, will be a part one because I had to split up this video into two parts due to it being quite long and um, I have to explain a lot of things and if you don't want to wait for that video as always the link to the model and the script all the scripts is in the description so uh, go get that if uh, <laughs> you're too lazy and if you enjoy my content don't forget to subscribe and like there you go so now I'm just going to show you a quick preview of how it's going to look like in the end. So this is how it's going to look like. Hello, how are you? And then they have some choices right here. Let's say, good, how are you? I'm great, thanks for asking. I'll do, what's your name? Nice weather, right? Where are you from? I'm from the base plate, blah, blah, blah. Goodbye, I'll see you around. And I click this again. Uh, let's say bad. And he just he get mad and he he just says goodbye so yeah that's how it works so i think let's just get right into scripting this so in new project i have added a little dummy here for my mpc and i've also uh, prepared as usual a gui for the uh, for the dialogue system so i can just show you real quick how it looks like so this will be inside of the script, so this won't show, but basically we have a, a name frame and it's basically just a container for the text label and this is just going to display as it says the MPC name. I have a dialogue frame and that is going to be the label for all the dialogue and then choices and this has a UI grid layout inside of it. So when you add, I can show for example when you add new items like this. It will stack uh, like that. It kind of bugs out, but I'm guessing you won't have so much choices, but then you'll have to just customize it. Just like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we can make this not visible again. And we're going to start actually by making a module script inside of uh, the actual NPC that you want to have a dialogue with. So I'm going to name this info and I'm also going to name this info. So the first thing I'm going to do is info dot leave message. This is basically it's just what it says when you you're going to leave the dialogue. So I'm going to have you know goodbye. And then info dot camera distance I'm going to set this to something like three and this is just how far away the camera will be from the head uh, when you talk to it so now let's get into the actual dialogue so info dot dialogue so we're going to make that equal to a table and inside of this table i'm going to add the first one and this is basically the first thing that comes up and this is also going to be a table Inside of here, I'm going to have text. Hello, how are you? And then add this little sign, this little sign here. And then I'm going to have uh, choices. So you can actually choose what you want to respond to this guy with. But this is also going to be a table. In here, I'm going to have the first choice to be equal to another. Uh, table <laughs> and in this table we're going to have text is equal to bad so let's say i'm you know i'm bad i am not feeling well and then i'm going to so this basically you don't need this but i just like doing it like that and then you have this one for the next choice so choice two and it's going to be equal to another table text is equal to let's say should I say? Um, how are you? Uh, I'm 
great. How are you? And right here, uh, I'm going to actually have something called next. And that is basically, so I'm just going to set this to two. And then I will have it like this, right here. So what this will do, is this will basically say, okay, if I select this choice, then it will forward me to the to the index of two on the dialog, which we have not made yet, but let's make that. So don't forget this one, little sign here. Then we'll type two is equal to another table. So just like this, uh, I'll ignore that. And then we can just copy what we have here, actually. So I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to do, so I'm great, how are you? Uh, I'm, let's say I'm decent. Thanks for asking me. Like that. And let's have some, uh, some other choices here as well. So we can say, what's your name? What's your name? And if we answer that, it's going to lead us to number three. And on this one, I'm going to have uh, maybe like, uh, what's your favorite? What's your favorite color? And then I'm going to set this to the fourth one. And I'm going to have a little, and one other uh, thing here that you can set, which is called follow. And this is basically going to set, so if you don't select this option, it will still follow on to the next question, even if you didn't click on it. Because now, on these ones, if I would click, for example, um, this one, this would not follow to that one, of course. Also due to the fact that it doesn't have a next. But... I think you know what I mean, hopefully, <laughs> but I will demonstrate soon, or no I won't, but yeah. So hopefully you know what I mean. On this one I will also do follow is equal to true, and then I will have those for just aesthetic purposes. and. I see one little mistake here I made. Um, no, I'm just kidding. So, just like that. And these will now fall on to the next question. So let's make one more or two more. Let's make the number three, which is going to be equal to text is equal to. Uh, so this is basically number three here. So text, what's your name? Uh, my name is um, Dummy. Right? <laughs> and then we have the choices. So we have the number one choice, which is going to be uh, text is equal to. Uh, no, actually, we don't need that. We'll just do like this. So if you have follow on this one. Uh, you will have to have an empty choices table for it to follow to that one. Just like this. And then, don't forget that little thing there. And then, for the fourth and last one. We'll have answer to this one. So, what's your favorite color? So, text to this one is going to be... Uh, let's say, yellow. This guy likes yellow. And don't forget that one. So he likes yellow. And then I'm also going to have an copy this right here. And empty for choices. Just like that. So this is basically what you have to do when you're making the dialogue. It may look a little complicated. Uh, but just getting used to it. There we go. So we're done with this one. Let's just name it info. And let's move on to the next script. So the next script is going to be uh, inside of a folder right here. And I'm going to call this NPCs. Something like that. 
and I'm going to add the script in here. And I'm just doing this particular uh, folder because I want one script to handle more dummies. It's just more effective, I think. But I guess you could have one script for each, but then you need to change it a little bit. So I'm just going to show you how to do it uh, this way. So I'm just going to name this like server or something. And then let's get to, sc to scripting this one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get replicated. Uh, so game get service replicate storage and in replicate storage we want to add an event called talk event just like that and then we're going to local event is equal to replicated wake your child and then talk event so now we're going to make a loop and we're going to loop through all of the things inside of this folder. So basically all the models. But just to be safe, I'm going to check if it's actually a model. Because we don't want to have uh, the script uh, affected by this script. <laughs> and we're also going to see if it's actually a character. And I'm just going to do humanoid. Uh, Vida, wait for child. Or... I mean, find for child, humanoid. And that is basically going to say, does this model have a humanoid in it? Which, in most of the cases, it means it's a character. I'm going to get the humanoid root part. So, uh, V, wait for child, humanoid root part. I'm also going to get the head. V, wait for child, head. And then, I'm going to get the module. And the module is uh, the thing, the module script we made earlier. And to actually access this, we need to require v.info. So we need to have this thing. And I'm going to make a prompt, which is basically the thing that shows up, you know, E to interact. So I'm going to have instant on new proximity prompt inside of the human root part. And the prompt dot action text is going to be talk. Prompt dot object text is going to be, you know, v dot name, the name of the. You can have this whatever, really, but it's just you don't even need these. And I'm going to do prompt dot query line of sight false. There we go. And then prompt. So we're gonna uh, do prompt dot triggered connect function and we're, go we're going to get the player from that so when you when you actually trigger this proximity prompt we are going to check if so this is also a feature added into this if we again look inside of this script we can see that we have info.camera distance is equal to 3 uh, but if we just were to remove this it would not change the camera and this is uh, sometimes you don't want the ch uh, camera to focus on its head so just remove that if you don't want it but in my case i want it so i'll have it here i'll do so we'll basically check well does it have a camera distance if it has one then we're going to fire the event with the player first, then the V or the actual NPC, the character, the module, and then we're gonna make a new C frame. So we're going to take the head position, and then we're going to add on the head's look vector. So head dot C frame dot look vector. Basically, the the way uh, the head is looking is pretty simple. And we're just going to multiply that by the module camera distance. And we're going to do head dot position. So this will basically position the uh, give a C frame that is actually with a part right here. So if we think that this is the camera, 
or the FC frame in this case. It will basically be positioned exactly in the position on the head, and then three studs away from it. And then it will, this one, the last thing here, is basically where it's going to look at. So this thing is going to look at the head. So now this was a little bit, um, you know, not straight, but that's fine. <laughs> just an example. But if we don't want to use the camera, we'll just fire it without that. So event, fire, fire client, player, comma v, comma module. Just like that. There we go. Now we are done with two of the scripts. So now we just have one script left. But that script, I'm going to show you in the next part of the series. Uh, because the video is about um, 15 minutes right now so I will actually uh, do that in the next video of the series which would probably be uploaded next Friday and we can actually test this out now even though it won't be working <laughs> so as you can see we have a little prompt here which we can click on but nothing, of course, happens when we click on it. So, I am looking forward to uh, seeing you in the next video of this series. And, um, yeah. Have a good day. Bye-bye.